My name is Joanne Strait. I am the secretary of the Friends of the North Carolina Public Library, and I am happy to welcome you to the spring workshops being held today. They are virtual, so if you're not able to watch everything that you want to this morning or throughout the day, remember that you'll be able to find them online throughout the year, and we hope that you will refer back to them as you need them. It's my pleasure to introduce our president, Judy Hills, who has some important information for you. Thank you. There are a lot of people to thank for helping us to create this first virtual workshop for the Friends of the North Carolina Public Libraries. First and foremost, our treasurer and tech guru, Mark West. Without his assistance, this would not have been possible today. Our board members helped to draft the agenda, select the topics and presenters. And of course, we profusely thank our presenters who have so generously given their time and talents, including Linda Reynolds, our state library liaison. In designing the workshops, we wanted to offer a variety of topics and give you practical advice that could be applied to both large and small friends groups. You can view the presentations on our YouTube channel, either by yourself or with a group, and we hope that you'll do both. We have provided some handouts and contact information for presenters in case you want to follow up. The videos will be kept online and we'll be adding more in the future, possibly this October when we do a fall virtual workshop. If you have topic suggestions, we'd love to hear them. You can send them to me or to Mark. Our contact information is on our website. Today also marks the introduction of our new Friends of the Library, North Carolina Library Grant Program. FONCPL is offering two types of grants. Seed grants, which are designed for those establishing a new friends group and for those revitalizing a friends group that has become inactive. This grant is a maximum of $500 and the group receiving it must agree to be mentored by FONCPL. There are no deadlines. Applications may be made anytime. The number of grants awarded in any fiscal year will depend upon the FONCPL budget. In 2021, we were able to provide three of these grants. Challenge grants are for groups current on their FONCPL dues and are designed to directly benefit the friends, not the library for which they're associated. These small grants of up to $250 may be used for innovative and creative projects. The number of grants awarded in any fiscal year will depend upon the FONCPL budget. In 2021, we can fund two groups. The deadline is September 15th. The details and applications are posted on our FONCPL website. We also are continuing with our awards program with a few changes. The Francis B. Reed Award is for a single friends group who made a significant contribution to their community between September 1st in the prior year and August 31st in the current year. By supporting one or more libraries through their contributions, advocacy, and volunteer services, and by supporting reading and lifelong learning within their community. The winner will receive a certificate and will be featured in the FONCPL newsletter and on the FONCPL website for a year. It's very important to be recognized for your accomplishments. The application is available online and is due September 15th. The Franny Ashburn Award is made for the individual friend from each of the five FONCPL geographic areas who made an outstanding contribution to the Friends of the Library between September 1st and August 31st of the current year. The winners will receive a certificate and again will be featured in the newsletter and on the FONCPL website for a year. The applications are available on our website and as well as the map of the five geographic areas. Applications are due on September 15th. We can't stress how important it is to recognize groups and individual members for all that they do for their friends and libraries. The groups with winners should send a press release to the local media to help get the word out about your friends. 
Another big change for FONCPL is the amount of resource material on our website. If you've not looked at it lately, we suggest that you do. You can dive as deep or shallow as you want. There's something for every group. We'll post any handouts and PowerPoints from today's presenters on there as well. If you have any suggestions or topics, please let Mark know. Our current website software was state-of-the-art about 20 years ago, so it's now sorely out of date. So Mark is going to be migrating it to a WordPress format. The URL will remain the same. We believe it will be more user-friendly, although there may be a few glitches with the changeover. If you have any problems or if you find any dead links, please notify Mark. We are pleased to announce a collaboration with the State Library. We are promoting the new NC Friends of the Library listserv, a public forum for members of Friends of Library groups to discuss and share ideas and resources relevant to Friends groups and to post questions and inquiries. The listserv is not moderated, but we will have a few rules to make it beneficial for everyone. We will include the listserv information on our website and in our newsletter, so stay tuned. We thank the State Library liaison, Linda Reynolds, for spearheading this effort. And we will continue to request that you send us articles and pictures for our newsletter. Surely you get tired of reading the same contributors each month. I know I get tired of writing. If you have any suggestions for the newsletter, please send them to the newsletter editor, Eileen Alexander. Her contact information is on our website and in the newsletter. The FONCPL board is a very hardworking crew. Uh, most of us are heavily involved in our local friends as well as other community groups. We don't mind the work, but we would be really much easier if we had your support. This means to responding to our requests for information and ideas, as well as responding to surveys and data needed. While we appreciate your dues and contributions, both individual and group, we are much stronger as an organization when we all collaborate and contribute. So we invite you to come on this journey with us. If we can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to call or contact us. That's why we're here. We hope you are both entertained and educated by the workshop presenters today. Would you like to share fundraising ideas with other North Carolina Friends of the Library groups? Or have a question about how to recruit new members or revitalize your organization? If so, then you will want to join the NC Friends of Library listserv. Hosted by the State Library of North Carolina, this public forum provides members of NC Friends of Library groups opportunities to discuss and share ideas and resources and to post questions and inquiries. To subscribe, you can go to the Friends of North Carolina Public Libraries link you see on this screen, foncpl.org. You will be asked to provide your name, email, and affiliated library. Once approved, you, be, you can begin posting to the listserv. Posts are automatically sent to all subscribers, so to ensure this form is beneficial for all members, you will be asked to adhere to a code of conduct. Listen and respect. As friends of libraries, we believe in intellectual freedom and the free exchange of ideas. No hate speech or bullying. We are a community about learning and we are learners ourselves. All members are asked to report instances of hate speech and microaggressions so we can keep this a safe and welcoming learning and sharing space for all. No promotions or spam. Promotions and spam will be deleted. Respect everyone's privacy. Searching for and publishing private information about an individual will not be tolerated. Stay on topic. This group is a place for Friends of Library members to discuss and share ideas and resources, ask questions, and to give and get advice. Please refrain posting irrelevant content. People who violate these rules may have their post comments deleted or may be removed from the group at the discretion of the group administrator. Join today to get started sharing your ideas and getting answers to your questions.